Just she's just a little more tattered. I guess the more I say this out loud, the more cooler that is that she is kind of creepy. Hey guys, we're gonna take a look at this Blondie Locks today. Just Sweet, she was a Target exclusive. She showed up at an off price in Canada. I thought I'd never find her. That was a pretty good price. I know that she's been marked down to like ridiculous under $10 at many Targets. However, I'm very happy to pay that price for such an exclusive that I would never find in Canada. I find her very reminiscent of the birthday balls. However, she is in the birthday ball anyway. I really like the birthday balls. I like how they have changed the hair color and that it just makes them look like new characters, basically. This one's a pretty good version, but they tend to over gel this one's hair and she just looks wet and kind of creepy, I find, in a way, which I guess isn't so bad. But she just looks like somebody had, like, dumped a bucket of water over her head. She's just a little more tattered. I guess the more I say this out loud, the more cooler that is, that she is kind of creepy. The big heads are what made me like these in the first place. They did look disproportionate and, like, old-fashioned. 14 to the 1800 princesses live in castles. That's really cool. I want to live in a castle. They kind of remind me of the Hattastics as well, I guess because it's kind of food-based, cafe-based. They just feature some regular dolls down in there in the corner. Drink me, eat me. Yeah, they're playing off the Hattastic stuff, so from the Beanstalk Bakery. Bookmark with Blondie's Review. So with these old boxes, you also had the tabs. I always liked as well. You could always just get in there if you wanted to, poke around and put them back in again. Let's take one more look at her in the packaging without the cover's glare. I love the artwork. One of the other things that has drawn me to this line. I'm supposed to marry a princess. It's just that not really good enough for one. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but I don't have a lot of money. Princesses usually need a lot of money. The stand comes with a gold stand. Oh yeah, she's got a gold brush featured back here. I like how they have her knees elastic banded together. It's really cute and her feet like are poking in. She really is a special doll. The dress has some great details. I'm just noticing these bows. They don't always add in a little addition like that. There's ring. There's a deluxe bracelet ring combo on this hand. A little cupcake purse that opens. It has a little button and hinge. It seems delicate though, I would be careful. Oh, and it's not like a mechanical hinge, it's just the plastic, so be careful with that. But it does open. Cute colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Let's see if we can get an up close look at that ring. I guess it's a cupcake. What's the details on this? And now she's got two really glued ringlets here. She's got these two little scooped up things there. Her headband has also cupcakes on it. And she's got a cool belt. And look at the layers. One, two, three. And then some of the layers have added tool sewn to the bottom and they got this elaborate belt over top and then she's got this vest shrug thing happening we got to take a look at this stuff so this is the belt it's nice it fastens normally I'll show you the shoes up close little cupcake wrappers in the heels kind of 50s Let's see how this works. I think, yeah, you can slide it right off like this. I do like the texture of that. Oh, am I gonna remember how to put that on properly? It folds a little more down like this. I'm assuming this is the top. And there's a necklace that I didn't see. Just clips on. And her stockings are full stockings sparkly and oh yeah look under this 
first layer, the tool is transparent. That would probably give it a bigger puff at the bottom than at the top. And then the top is printed. The addition of bows is very rarely seen. They usually draw on the details like they have the other stuff. It's nice when the details are added. Oh, and her earrings are tiny, tiny little cupcakes, I think. Oversaturated with light. Teeny, teeny, tiny cupcakes. And again, gold comb. Look at that design. Just look at it. And look at that design. And stand. Oh, and she came with this journal. She didn't have to because she was such a special doll, so it was nice that she did come with this propaganda. In the back, there's some photographs. I think of the Hattastic playset. What is this playset? Do you guys recognize these playsets? I must have it. I think I have everything. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I do miss the spines. At least I don't feel as badly now about opening the packages.